16 kilometres remain on the Tour de Romandie Stage 1, the 68th edition of the race. Remember, the race that for the last three seasons has given us the Tour de France winner. It's early days, and here we go. Is this Vincenzo Nibali time? It is, it is definitely. There's only one man that descends like that, and uh, I've obviously had the, uh, the pleasure to uh, to work with Vincenzo in the past and uh, teams and things like that. And, I'd, I'd, I'd see myself as a pretty good descender, and uh, he's one of the few farmers that has, you know, he was actually caught on the end of the road. If you go down the very steep bit, right up the, on the inside of, of the apex of the corner, there's too big a drop, and you actually lose um, a bit of traction because of, of how steep it drops down. And that's when your front wheel just washes out like that. And certainly, with a little bit of front brake as well, then you're completely gone. It's interesting watching Nibali this week. Not many people have been talking about him prior to this race. As we look at the speed he's going, if we can get a good look. About 80 there, yeah. Not a bad effort. But yeah, Nibali, not many people talking about him just because he's hadn't had a win yet this year. He's become a father, he's been losing a bit of sleep. But I've talked to a few people from Italian television, a few journalists have known. Catch up to Nibali and see if he could get a, bit, a couple of turns out of Nibali. But at this point now, just uh, recover quickly and then start making that big turn and hope that Kwiatkowski can make his way up to uh, a, a good position for the sprint. Rui Costa well placed down there as well. Two are well placed. Astana as a team, they've got a number of riders in there. Yes, Nibali's buried himself there, but look out for the likes of Full Sun, who can really, really lap those finishes up. Such a powerful rider, and I think he would be a big, big danger man to everybody out there now. He certainly should be. He certainly should be. And he likes these kind of sprints as well. Jakob Full Sun, the Dane. Riding for Astana, the Kazakhstan team. Everything together then, watch for the attacks as we go into the final one kilometre flam rouge time. Just have a look down and make sure there. Maggie, it's technical, it's hard, and we're getting another attack. This time, Morby Star trying to do something. In fact, no, it is Europe car. Is this Tom Abercler again? I'm fairly certain it's Tom Abercler. Still at the minute deciding not to chase too hard. Rahan Dennis brilliantly placed. He's running a superb race today. It'd be lovely to get a look down on the road and see exactly what this is. Looks to me like Vauclair. It is Vauclair. Looks behind and the Frenchman is having a real go here. Is this possible to hold on to? Can he get this final corner right? And, uh, you know, it's 400 metres, 450 metres from the last corner up to the finish line. 500 metres to go. Thomas Vauclair takes the turn, accelerates into it. And here we go. He's under the finishing straight. The Frenchman being chased down by Rohan Dennis. 400 metres for Thomas Vauclair, the former French champion. Big ride this. He has the power up hill. He has the pedigree. No looking back now. Vauclair rides on. Europe car. He, oh, they take the nick out of him for taking so many of these turns. The tongue is out. Look at him. But it's a big, big chase behind. And Michael Albertini's having a real go at it as well. It's Vauclair on the right, but he's going to be caught. This is a huge one for Erika Green Edge. And can they get the win? And what a win it is. It's a Swiss win. Michael Albacini. When well, we talked about him early on today, could he hang on? He kept himself very, very quiet. And there is confirmation. We didn't see his number, but we knew.